Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Welcome to the floor in my studio. If you haven't already learned from my Instagram, I am moving. I'm so excited. My husband and I bought our first house and we're gonna be moving, which means my studio will be moving, which means I need to pack this up, which is the perfect opportunity for me to declutter some eyeshadow palettes. As you can see by the title of this video, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have made many piles off camera that you can't see, but I'm hoping to get rid of maybe like a third of my collection. Mind you, all the palettes that you're seeing right now are palettes that I don't currently have in my kit, so this is all stuff that stays in my studio. I'm not gonna be decluttering anything from what's in my kit right now because clearly those are palettes that I am using. I pretty much rotate those out when I find that I'm not using something. So if you'd like to see the palettes that I keep in my makeup kit for when I am on location doing jobs, comment below and I would be happy to show you that. I did include those, a lot of those palettes in my previous eyeshadow palette collection video, but I have since purchased a lot more. So that's actually not very up to date. So if you wanna see an updated version of what I currently take with me onto makeup jobs, you just let me know. Other than that, we're going to go through all these palettes. There's a lot of them. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but a reminder that makeup is both my hobby and passion and also my job. So I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Some I keep for sentimental reasons. Some I keep because I often have kids in my life who like to come play with makeup. So we'll talk about those when we cross those, but I've separated everything out by brand and then I have a big pile of brands that I only have one palette from. So we'll go through those lastly. We're going to start with ColourPop because as you can see, I have quite the stack here. Excuse my nails. Like I said, we are packing and moving, so I haven't bothered to take any off. But the first palette here, this is Aura and Ow from ColourPop. As you can see, it's a very beautiful pastel green and blue palette. I love pastels in the spring. I haven't gotten enough use out of this palette, so we're definitely keeping this one. Next, we have the Cloud Spun palette from ColourPop. This is a bunch of pinks. I've used it a little bit, but I mean, I love pastels, so we're probably not gonna get rid of any recent pastels. This is Miss Bliss, which is a peach and pink palette. Love it, not getting rid of it. And then the last of my pastels is In a Trance. I've actually used this one the most out of all of them. That one unfortunately shattered and is no longer with us, but I love these purples, so I've used this one quite a bit actually. So that one we're keeping. So far so good, haven't decluttered anything. This one, most of my ColourPop palettes are rather new to me. Well, not new, but like in comparison to the other palettes, so I don't know how many I'll be getting rid of. This is my newest ColourPop palette, I think. It's, it's my pleasure. Bought it for these purples right here. And I love it, so definitely not getting rid of it. Same with this guy, ColourPop Star Wars Mandalorian The Child. We'll use this one all the time. It doesn't look like it, but I love this one so much keeping it. The first Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop. I love this one in the fall. It's so good and I love these shimmers. That green right there, oh so beautiful and I love this warm brown. So definitely not getting rid of that. Sonic Bloom. Love this one. I actually have one or two tutorials with this one. It's beautiful. Not getting rid of it. California Love. I haven't used this one in a little bit but it's like my perfect neutrals warm neutrals no warm browns are like my jam so not getting rid of that one the lizzie mcguire palette what dreams are made of never used it never getting rid of it i don't even know if i've swatched it but i really want to start using it so definitely never getting rid of that like this video if you were a lizzie mcguire fan smoke and roses is my only big palette from ColourPop. love this one so much i use it all the time and Definitely not getting rid of it. So we kept in ColourPop, we kept 11 palettes and did not get rid of any. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Let's go next to Pixie. My whole Pixie section is palettes that they have sent to me. 
So I haven't purchased any of these with my own money, but first let's start with this face palette. This is the Pixie by Petra Nuance Quartet in Honey Nectar. I actually use this quite a bit. I love it. So we're gonna keep this. Next we have two of the IFX palettes. Again from Pixie by Petra. This is Hazelnut Haze. Mm, we can get rid of this. I'm not a big fan of the Pixie eyeshadow formula. This is Rosette Ray. These smaller green ones are better than their other formula which you'll see in a second of their original pans, but I'm never gonna reach for these, so we have two for declutter. Next, we have this Pixie by Petra Eye Reflection Shadow Palette in Reflex Light. I mean, all shimmers. It's beautiful, but again, I just don't love this formula, so we're gonna get rid of this one. And then this is the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette in Natural Beauty, which is a little bit more cool toned. Again, don't love it. I will actually probably give, no, because I don't even want to give it to my nieces. I don't like them. So we're going to declutter that. We'll see if anybody in my family wants them. But next we have, these are the Collabs Pixie and Makeup by Denise Highlighter. Let's see what it's called. Mind Your Own Glow, Find the Light. So this is a highlighter palette. Absolutely adore this formula. Definitely not getting rid of it. And then the other one that I love so much, I actually bought, I was sent one and then fell in love with it. So I actually bought one for my kit. Um, so this is the one that I keep in my personal collection. This is the Pixie and Promise Shape, Shape Shifter Sculptor Palette. So this is a contour palette. I love this so much. So keeping it for sure. Okay, so that's better. We kept two Pixie palettes and we decluttered four. Okay, we're on a move here. Next, let's do Morphe. I only have two Morphe palettes. Whatever happened to, I used to have more. I don't know where they ended up. Okay, so first of all, this is the Morphe Pure Nude 3B palette and it's just three warm bronzy tones. It's really good for travel, honestly. So I'm going to keep this little guy. And then this is the 9B bronzed babe palette from Morphe. And it's just, again, a really good one to travel with because it has good range. So I'm going to keep it. Next, we're going to go into Tarte. I only have two palettes from Tarte. First, we have the Showstopper Clay palette with the purple faux snake skin. I'm going to declutter this one because I can't tell you the last time I actually touched it. So yeah. Then we have the Aspen Ovard eyeshadow palette. I don't think it has another name. Um, I used to really like this one for bridal, but as you can tell, it's extremely hard to keep clean, which I personally hate when it comes to palettes I'm using on clients. Um, it just always looks like so messy because of all the reflective metal in the packaging. So we're going to keep it for now, but it's might be decluttered my, the next time I declutter. We'll see if I ever, if I get more use out of it. Next, we're gonna go Makeup Geek, which is no longer. First up, we have the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette. Gosh, I used to use this all the time on clients. Basically, all of these shadows minus these two, minus the two on the bottom left. All the other ones, this this right here, so beautiful for brides. I'm gonna keep it a little bit longer, but again, just kind of like that Aspen Ovard palette, it might be the next to go. Now we have the Flawlessly Ever After Fair Lady Face Palette. So this is like contour, highlight, and blush. We're gonna keep this one because I really do love Makeup Geek's face products. They're old formula. And since you can't get it anymore, we're gonna keep it. What are we gonna do next? Ooh, here's two that I know I'm gonna get rid of. These are Stila In The Moment palettes. These are so old. So this is In The Moment, which is the purple palette. We're gonna declutter because I hate the quality of these. I don't know why I've kept them because I never touched them. And then this is In The Know, which I like a little bit more, but it's all matte and I never use it. So bye. So old, those two. Next, we're gonna do these two Physicians Formula palettes. One is a bronzer palette and one is a glow face palette. So this one is three of their Muru Muru bronzer. Yeah, not, not getting rid of this one. We like that and also love this. Oh no, we got a crack in this guy. I need to press him back together. Okay, 
We're gonna be gentle, but we're still gonna keep this one. We have, definitely gonna declutter this one. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This is like the old, old, old original one. They've redone it so many times and I still have this new, or this really old one. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's just too old and it doesn't even work. I, I kept this for kids makeup, but I, I haven't used it in so long and I the quality is terrible BH Cosmetics. If I need it I can buy it again. It's super inexpensive if I find that I miss it. So we're gonna declutter it. I am gonna keep however this 120 color. Actually you know what? We're gonna get rid of it. This thing is so old. This might be the first eyeshadow palette that I've ever bought and it even though I sanitize things I I doubt this works anymore. I haven't tested it. Don't feel like testing it. We're going to get rid of it just because it's taking up so much space. Okay. So here's one that we are definitely keeping. This is Laura Lee, Los Angeles and Aaron Weaver, Candy Skies. This one is stunning. I love this palette for when I want some good color. Love the quality. I have the Nudie Patootie palette also, but that's in my kit. So definitely not getting rid of that. Next up, let's go Urban Decay. Okay, all three of these palettes are getting decluttered. I can't believe I'm saying that. This was my very first Urban Decay palette. This was before naked palettes were even a thing. This is the, I wanna say it was called the Ammo palette. I feel like that's what it was called. And look at this thing. So loved. I loved Sin, as did so many people. The greens, the bronze. Oh my god, I use this so much. But we don't need to keep things for nostalgia like this anymore, okay? If I'm not using it, I don't need it. So we're getting rid of that one. Next up, we have the Naked 3. I have never liked this palette. I bought it for bridal because of the colors. I have never enjoyed it. So what's the point of holding on to it? Don't use it. And then here is my original Naked palette. Very well loved, as you can see. It got some good use, but there's no reason to keep it. I don't love it anymore, so cheers. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm doing so good. We've decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 palettes. That's huge. And right now we're keeping one, two, three, 22. Okay, so that's more than 50% that we've, we've decluttered. That's amazing. Okay, next up we have a MAC face palette. This is from a holiday collection a couple years ago. Flashing Ice Extra Dimension Skin Finish Trio in Medium Deep. I love the Extra Dimension formula for these skin finishes. They're just stunning. I like to use them for like blush, but also highlighters, eyeshadows, so I really love this one and the packaging is super fun keeping it. Next up we have e.l.f. I can't believe I only have two e.l.f. Eye eyeshadow palettes. That seems very weird. I feel like I must be missing some. I don't know. This is the e.l.f. Electric Mood X Tiana Major 9 palette. I love this one in the fall. I use it a lot in the fall, so we're gonna keep it. Love the quality for the price. We also have this little baby elf bite size eyeshadow in the shade cream and sugar. Honestly, I think I might declutter this one. I don't ever use it. I just have other neutrals that I go to first. So I actually think we might declutter this one. Maybe, this is gonna be our first maybe, not sure. Let's do Too Faced next. We have the, look at this one. Talk about nostalgia, Too Faced Natural Matte. Look how well used this is. We're gonna get rid of it. I don't use it anymore, it's so old. She was well loved, well enjoyed. Same with this one, the Too Faced Original Chocolate Bar Palette, bad shape. She's in bad shape. Still smells like chocolate though. We're gonna get rid of it. And then the Too Faced, Sweet Peach Palette. Mm, I don't ever use this one. We're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna get rid of it. There's no reason to keep it. Okay, next up, let's go Maybelline. I only have two, but I really do love these palettes. I think I'm gonna keep them both. This is the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I love this um, coppery sugar-coated shade and the strawberry lemonade shade, and I like these mattes. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one. Great quality for the price. And then the Soda Pop palette is the one that I love for this Grape Pop. You guys know how much I love that Grape Pop and Cherry on Top, those two shades. Ugh, love them, but also love the mattes. It's just a good palette, so we're gonna keep this. Next, we're gonna go Lorac. This is the Lorac Princess eyeshadow palette. These just like aren't my colors, so we're gonna declutter that one. We're gonna declutter it. And then the original Lorac Pro palette. Oh my gosh, this used to be in my kit for so long. Clearly, 
she's well loved do we get rid of it i just have better quality shadows now so i feel like it's kind of pointless to keep it so i can't believe it but we're gonna declutter it next we're gonna go abh these are so old guys okay so first up, we have the lip palette. As you can see, I've depotted one, two, three, four, five, six of the shades and put them in my kit, but I'm gonna keep this just in case um, I want it for color reasons. So we're gonna keep that for now. This might be too dry. Okay, we're gonna put this in the, may in the maybe pile. This is the light contour cream kit. I'll, I'll see what I can do with it. I guess I need to test it and see if it's still, it might be a little dried out. I haven't used tried to use this in a long time. So most likely we're gonna declutter this one. So I'm just gonna put it in the declutter pile. Next up, we have the Dress Your Face Tamana palette. Look at that, look how well used. I was so obsessed with this palette for the longest time but I don't use it look at that clearly used it to go to a football game with a face sticker so we're gonna get rid of this one that's crazy the highly coveted Amrezi and ABH the original Amrezi palette look at this color story I just I still love it I can't let go of it I can't let go of it I love this color palette I want to keep it just so that I can try to find a palette with a similar color story in my collection so we're gonna try to find a dupe for this and then i'll declutter it because i just love it and i i can't i i literally drove to a different town to a different ulta to buy this palette because it was sold out everywhere so we're gonna keep that one last abh palette i have here is the artist palette i don't use this one ever i hate the color story i don't know why in my head because i was a makeup artist i thought that i needed to buy this but I never use it. I hate it. So we're gonna get rid of it. Wow, you guys, I have already filled up my basket for declutters. Can't believe that. I'm very proud of myself. Next up, we have Wet and Wild. Do you guys remember these? Like, why am I still holding on to them? I don't know. This one, I mean, those blues, these blues right here, these two deep ones are stunning, but like, no. Sold. Same with this purple palette. One of them is shattered. Don't use it. Have the other purple palette. Don't need it. This one, however, in comfort zone. Do you guys remember how popular this one was? I have a shade that looks like that. So, and I kept it. So we don't need this palette anymore. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Next up we have Essence eyeshadow palettes. These are like four bucks and I bought a lot of them. So we're going to go through them. I'm probably going to keep them all. But let's see. First off, we have Dancing Green. I love this one if you want to try color. I mean, with any of these palettes. These are great palettes if you want to try color. You're not sure if you're going to like it, so you want to do it, you know, as inexpensive as possible. They're not super bright colors, which is honestly really nice if you're trying to experiment with colors. So these are really muted, and they don't scream, I'm wearing green eyeshadow. So I think this is a great palette if you're wanting to experiment with greens. So I definitely recommend this one. Next, we have My Rose Will Go On. I wish it had a little bit more depth because it doesn't get very dark with that mauve shade, but I mean, beautiful palette, like it. Bronzed this way. This one has better range. We're gonna keep it. I haven't had enough time with it. Coral Me Maybe. Beautiful. Love the range in this one. So definitely keeping it. Nothing compares to nude. The rose and the nude one are like from the second release. This one doesn't have a lot of range, but we're gonna keep it for travel because I think it would be good for that. And then lastly, we have I Like to Mauve It, Mauve It. Good range again. A little bit more of those like gray or blue purples, mauve, taupey color. So we're gonna keep this one. Keep all six of those. I kind of knew we were going to because those are newer in my collection and I haven't had enough time with them. Okay, so the last brand that I have a lot of palettes from, we missed a Pixie. This is the Pixie by Petra Glittery Eye Quad in Rose Bronze. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have now the Jungle Lights palettes. Jungle Lights and Desert Lights from, they're in my kit, but they're from Flower Beauty and I prefer those over this. So we're gonna get rid of this. Okay, so next we're gonna go into Juvia's Place. I have a lot. These are just the Juvia's Place palettes that I don't have in my kit. So they're a little bit more colorful. 
I wouldn't be surprised if I kept them all, but let's see what happens. So first up, we have the this quad, the Rebel Army, another green. I love greens, so we're gonna keep that one. I really like that one. I'm pretty sure I have a tutorial with this palette. If I have a tutorial with any of these palettes, I will link them down below. Next, we have the Nubian Royal, which is a purple palette. Again, we know how much I love purples. I love these two shades right here. These mattes are stunning, and those shimmers, honestly, all beautiful. Keeping that one. And then the gold version of that is the Nubian Glow. I love, ugh, this color, this color, this co honestly, all of them. Don't love the pressed glitters, but that's just because I don't love a pressed glitter, but I really do love these gold shades, so we're actually gonna keep that one. All right, now we have some of the other, my other six pans. We have the chocolates. Love these dark browns, love this warm brown. Kinda wish these were a little more different, but that's okay. So we're gonna keep that one. We have the mauves, which is actually a little bit pinkier than like purplier than I wish. I wish it was like these were just like a little bit more neutral because then I think it would be the perfect palette or almost like a medium tone between these two. Like this is too dark. I don't know. I just want something in between, but still love it. We have the taupes. This is one that I used to use in my kit a lot. As you can see, it's really beautiful. I love it for people who love more of a cool toned eye look. And then we also have the nudes, which again, used in my kit a lot, especially this shade. Love them, but we're not gonna get rid of them. Then we, going on to bigger palettes, we have the Nomad. This is one of my favorites because it combines nudes, but also some a little bit of green in there with these. Love this shade. So we're gonna keep that one. The Nubian Coral. This is a really fun palette. We're going to keep this one because I just haven't gotten enough use out of it. And I really liked all of these when I tried them. So it's just an interesting coral story. Coral. An interesting color story that I hadn't seen before. The gray and the coral. So I like it. We also have the Nubian 2, which is my biggest palette from Juvia's Place. I just really like these jewel tones. I love that blue. Love these for the winter and the fall. So definitely keeping that one. And then the Saharan. I love this one. Again, not getting rid of it. I love the warmth, but also some of these more unique shades. So keeping that one. We didn't get rid of any Juvia's Place. I'm not surprised. Now, lastly, we have, these are one-off brands. So ones that I don't have more than one from. So we're gonna start first with this palette from Happy Mess. I don't even know if this brand is still around. I really love this palette, so I'm gonna keep it. I haven't used it in a little while, but I love these. These two duochromes are beautiful. It's a really good travel palette. You can do so much with it. So I'm still gonna keep it because I really enjoy using it. Next, we have this Laura Mercier Editorial Eye Palette, Intense Clays. We're gonna get rid of it. Not my color story, haven't used it in a long time. Next, we have the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. I love this palette. It was one of the original when she started doing the Nine Pan Obsessions palettes. And I don't have, this is my only red palette, I think. So we're gonna keep this one. Next up, we have the Rare Beauty True to Myself Eyeshadow Palette. We're gonna keep this one. I don't love that the biggest one is a pressed glitter. I've talked about that before, but I really do love these six other shades. So we're definitely gonna keep this one. And it's just like really cute. I mean, it's not a reason to keep something, but this is back from when I worked at a spa where we had Glow Minerals and we would, it says tester because we would buy ourselves the testers when we wanted to buy makeup for ourselves from our vendor because they were cheaper. So yeah, this is the metallic smoky eye kit and it's just not my color store anymore. So we're gonna get rid of that. Next up, we have the Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. I really love this. I tried it out in a drugstore, like all new to me drugstore makeup tutorial kind of thing. And I really ended up loving it. So we're gonna keep this. It has a really great range and I liked how finely milled they were. So we're gonna keep that. Never getting rid of this guy. This is my NARS Extreme Effects eyeshadow palette. I've done so many looks with this. I love it every holiday season. It's like my go-to fall winter palette and it's absolutely beautiful. So 
keeping that one. This one is so old. This is the My Sculpted Face by It Cosmetics Contour Palette. Clearly it has been so loved. It's just really old, so we're gonna get rid of it. I can't believe it, but we are. Next up, we have the LA Girl VIP Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. So I've been raving about this one a lot recently. It's so inexpensive, but there's two things that I wanna comment on. One, it's already broken, so the packaging is very cheap, which obviously makes it cheaper for the consumer. Like, this comes off totally. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see, can you see right there? That's pan showing through already. And I have used this palette maybe four times, and I already have palette, I'm already hitting, I, 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 I just, you don't get hardly any product. So, if that doesn't bother you, that's fine. It's great quality for the price quality as in the eyeshadow quality, but two things to note, it's not going to last you forever, especially those shades that you use a lot, and maybe not the best travel palette because the packaging is a little flimsy. So yeah, still recommend it if you're looking for an inexpensive option, but I don't know. I don't know if it's just a fluke, but yeah, didn't come with a lot of product, which is, you know, makes more sense now. This is the NYX Happy Birthday palette. It's a pretty color story. I just don't ever use it. So we're gonna get rid of that one. And then I think we're finally on the last one. I think I'm missing some palette because I don't know, they might be tucked away somewhere. I can't find them all. But this is the Saga of Freya palette from Odin's Eye. I mean, can we just take a minute to look at how stunning. So this is a double palette. This is my first and only palette from Odin's Eye. This is one side and then this is the other. I adore this palette. I love the quality. I love the uniqueness. Like this one has green flecks in it. How cool is that? This green is so beautiful and that orange too. Like, I just am so obsessed. I can't wait to buy more from Odin's Eye. It's the only palette that I still keep the original. I keep the packaging of it on there just to keep it safe, but it's absolutely beautiful and never getting rid of it. Okay, so look at this stack. These are all the palettes I'm getting rid of. Holy cow, let's count them. 28 palettes, that's awesome. And then here's my bigger basket of ones that I am keeping. Remember, this isn't all the palettes I own. This is just what I keep in my studio. So I think I've decided not to keep this one. So actually 29, 29 palettes. And before you ask, I am not just like dumping these palettes that I'm decluttering. I will offer them like friends and family is basically, I give my nieces some of the more neutral ones or some of the bright fun ones. I let them go through and see if they want anything. That's how I, that's what I do with palettes. If they're really old though, and I got rid of them because I don't think they work, then I do pitch them. But if they're ones that I just am not using, then I will give them to nieces. So I'm gonna count these really quick and see how many I am keep keeping to see if I am in fact getting rid of a third of my makeup. All right, you guys, so I am keeping 52 palettes and decluttering 29, which means that in this I had 81 palettes. I feel really good about that. Everything now fits in one container, which is huge. That's gonna allow for so much better storage in my new studio. I'm very proud that I was able to get rid of a third of my palettes that were in my personal collection. So I have probably like 25 or so-ish palettes in my kit right now. So definitely still have a lot of palettes. I never wanna have over 100 palettes. So I definitely have more than 100 before this declutter. So I'm glad that I have lightened up the load. I don't know why I was feeling like I needed to hold on to a bunch of these older palettes but it's silly. Like I'm gonna be testing out new palettes and wanting to try new makeup. So like, what's the point of keeping all this old stuff and holding on to it when I truly do not use it? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, bye.